On Wednesday, October 12, 2022, I attended the second staging of the Honorable Maurice Facey Lecture Series at one of my favorite places, the Jamaica Conference Center. The first staging was held in 2019 and featured Pedro Ortiz, who presented under the topic, The Cost of Chaos, Envisioning a Resilient Metropolis. After a two-year break caused by the pandemic, the lecture series is back. This year's guest was Greg Clark, who presented under the topic, The Business of Cities, Partnering for Urban Revitalization. His areas of expertise included city development, mobility, technology, urban governance, city strategic planning, real estate, and place leadership. Here are some highlights from the lecture. The presentation started with an analysis of cities and urbanization, looking at how cities have evolved over the past century, their organization, network, and what makes them work. He followed with an explanation of how cities work like businesses. They need to network, be competitive, have innovation, good leadership, a strong brand and reputation. They also can be oriented around different industries such as finance, experience, creativity, manufacturing, or technology to name a few. He explained the difference between bad urbanization, which promotes quantity over quality, resulting in congestion, pollution, segregation, and crime, versus good urbanization, which promotes quality over quantity, resulting in cleaner, safer, and more productive cities. Also discussed were the impacts of COVID and the concept of blended city, where cities have become more hybrid, being both physical and digital in nature. Another impact discussed was climate change and risk mitigation, especially for coastal cities. He explained that good urbanism can be one solution to creating carbon-free spaces that can help to protect cities. In the second part of the presentation, he highlighted and discussed three tools and resources needed to improve cities. These were technology, investment, and good leadership. This was presented alongside examples of how these tools can help, such as investment in multimodal transportation or public-private partnerships for the maintenance of outdoor recreational spaces. One takeaway was that I was hoping for a little more analysis and discussion of Kingston's downtown area, which came up mostly in the question and answer section. He did mention that for Kingston, we must have a forward-looking perspective if we want change. We cannot let the history of crime or failed initiatives prevent us from developing the city. Other than the presentation, the turnout was great and a wide cross-section of professionals in the industry came out. However, I didn't see a strong representation from the public sector as I did from the private sector. Nonetheless, it was a good opportunity to meet other professionals and see a few faces I haven't seen in a while. Overall, I thought it was a well-organized event from the speaker selection, the parking, the venue, registration, and even the refreshments. I'm definitely looking forward to the next staging and more initiatives like this to improve our cities. Thanks for watching.